angle laws. This is just a quick review of our main angle types. Complementary angles add up to 90 degrees. So these two angles here are complementary. We find A by doing 180 degrees minus 20 degrees, which is 160 degrees. Supplementary angles are found on a straight line. They add up to 180 degrees. Well, that was silly. I just did supplementary angles where we had complementary ones. This should, of course, have been A is 90 degrees minus 20 degrees, which is... 70 degrees. Sorry. Angle A down here is a supplementary angle form, and I would get that by doing 180 minus 160 degrees, which is 20 degrees. We can have more than a pair of angles adding up in these. So here, all three angles add up to 180 degrees to find B. 180 degrees minus both of those, so 180 degrees minus 50 degrees, which is 130 degrees. So we need to be able to easily recognize when we've got complementary and supplementary angles and find unknown angles. We also have angles formed by parallel lines with a transverse line through them. Alternate angles are on alternate sides of the transverse line and they are equal. I would of course also have another pair of alternate angles on the other side those two are equal as well. And you'll notice that the two opposing ones add up to 180. Corresponding angles take on the same position relative to each parallel line and the transverse, and they are also equal. You'll notice that they have a matching pair of corresponding angles here, which also form 180 on each parallel line. Co-interior together inside are not equal. As you can see, this one is the same as that, this one is the same as that, and since these two obviously add up to 180, the pair of co-interior angles add up to 180 degrees. So those are our three types of angles we're likely to find on parallel lines. And remember, we're going to come across this a lot. If someone's heading north, that's parallel to every other north-south line. And our other type of angles we might have, vertically opposite angles where I've crossed over two lines, are equal. And there's a pair of equals on the other pair. And of course, again, those add up to 180 if I have a straight line. So vertically opposite angles are equal. And if I draw a triangle in a semicircle, so from the two edges of the circle to anywhere on the outside of the circle, that angle that touches the outside of the circle there will always be a right angle. 